In support of Sexual Assault Awareness Month, a group of sexual assault survivors and friends gathered today to make themselves heard. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb spoke with some of the people there. It's all new at 10 tonight. Jason? Well, that's right, Shannon. The people were part of a group called the Nashville Feminist Collective, and among all the places they had their sights set on today, Capitol Hill was at the top of their lists. At Bicentennial Park today. How's it going? Good. At a landmark meant to measure distance. What did your sign say? A group standing against sexual violence gathered. Have you ever done something like this? To see just how far they've come. I'm glad it's happening. And how far they have yet to go. It is a message that everybody should uh, be aware of, but everyone isn't. It's Mackenzie LaFoster's first time at a rally like this. Yeah, yeah. A sexual violence victim herself she says this is a big day for her. This is the first time really where I'm just being like, hey, bluntly, this is what happened. We will not be compromised our bodies, our lives. We On their march that led all the way to the Capitol, the group rallied in support of a bill that would require rape kits be tested within 60 days. They say they think people took notice. Yeah, I think so. I mean, they're taking prom pictures and they had to turn around. But what makes today important for all these people is their personal stories. Hello, my name is Mackenzie and I'm a sexual assault survivor. For many of these survivors, today was a small victory in a fight they all know isn't over. We are brave, we are loved, and we matter. Survivors, allies, friends, family, everyone, enough is enough. It's time to end sexual violence now. Thank you. We should mention the group that put on this afternoon's march says the timing was not in response to the National Rifle Association conference in town this weekend.